All right, YouTube, man, we're back with another tip video. So this one, we're gonna be focusing on squads. And the key word for this video is placement or positioning. So throughout this video, pay attention to my positioning, my teammates positioning and our enemies positioning. And as the gameplay goes along, I'll be breaking down what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So with that being said, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, man, drop a like, subscribe if you have not already. And your boy is 20 followers off of a thousand followers on Twitter. So if you guys can, or if you do have Twitter, man, follow me. And if you wanna check out more like highlight clips on my Instagram, check that out as well. With that being said, man, let's get into the video. Here. All right, y'all. So keep in mind that my gameplay is gonna be a lot faster than what you guys are used to. So I'll try my best to explain and breaking down. But if you guys have any questions, or if you um, are confused by anything, just let me know down in the comments. I'll be breaking down other things as well. But this video is all about positioning how it can either help your team win or make your team lose. So just to recap that, um, I call out that there's two teams. I wait for my boys to push up, and I watch behind them just in case somebody's trying to flank. Um, as we all push in, uh, Yellow does push in a little bit too much, kind of in a bad spot. He ends up getting C4, and then um, I just try to help him out my, as best as I could, and I get knocked. Call out to Green, he's right, right under you to your left. Uh, he gets that knock. He scares that guy away. Yellow gets another knock, and then you know Green just finishes it. But that fight right there, you really don't have to pay pay much attention to. That's just common sense, you know. Just fight to your to your best abilities. Like there's no for sure one way of making out super, you know, safe completely. All right, I mean, right here, I don't really get a kill, but notice my teammates positioning and look at where the enemy team is at. So we got green far left coming through with like somewhat of a flank. And we have yellow putting pressure on him from in front of him. Um, not really much I need to do here because they already took care of it. But yeah, just pay attention to positioning. We had one guy get from behind the team or to the left of him. And we have one guy in front of him. At that point, they really don't have any cover besides like running back to storage town. But if they do that, then you know they're exposed to, to gunshots from both guys. Get out in the safe spot, right behind his wall. Once I get out, I play it safe. I let him push out for me or to us. As he does right here. It's easy knock. And then there's one more down in front of me. Now I play it super patient again. Let him push towards me since my teammates are fighting the other two. And then I do end up getting just an easy kill right here. And honestly, I don't think he's seen me. Falcon 3-0, good copy. UAV 
As I'm pulling up, I have just one person on the radar, but I know for a fact there's more than one. As I peek, I get shot from multiple. So I throw a concussion just to break down the defense a little bit, and then I go in for an easy pick. As you can see, I'm playing super patient. I'm not pushing in. Since we have green all the way across the street, he has a good set of eyes. But, and the team has no cover that we're fighting, by the way. And I'm right above him, so there's not really much they can do. But that's what I'm talking about when I say positioning. Like, look at where green was at, look where I was at, and look where yellow was at. We had him surrounded. That fight took no more than like 10 seconds. That's how you break down uh, enemy team's defense. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. I can fly. Green pings right there on top of the building. Uh, we all get out just to see like what kind of uh, position we can take or how we can push them. I call out the sniper on top. But as I get here, I notice that we're all cluttered. Like I don't like being too close to my teammates like that. So what I do is just get in the chopper and I get to an open spot. As yellow is pushing across, I'm flying across and giving out call outs for him. Because I know he's in a bad spot. Up until now, he's safe right now. I'm calling out that there's a guy inside the white building. Uh, just be careful when you're pushing in. Green gets a knock on a guy down low. Once he did that, I was safe to push in with the chopper. Because the guy up top would jump down to get the res on his boy. And I ended up catching him before he came down there. And then yellow finally killed the, the guy inside the white building. As we're flying in, this was kind of a bad drop off. I'm not gonna lie. Because there was a guy up top on the building that we literally just landed on. And there was guys that super shooting at us. But I didn't like that, so once I dropped down, I got covered behind this wall. And then I just started to ping the guys that I seen down there. So As I'm pushing in, I'm communicating with Green like, is that guy still next to you? Or is he still under us? Um, while I'm pushing in, Yellow is pushing in as well. And they're all, and the enemy team is targeting Yellow. And they don't see me coming at all. So it's just easy picks for me. Like I said, these, these gunfights don't last more than 10 seconds. When you're breaking down a defense like this, like what can they really do? I can do that. Oh, 
All right, so right here, I'm gonna explain why we didn't choose to fight this guy. Um, so basically, as we're pulling up, we try to figure out if he's up top, if he's in the middle, or if he's all the way at the bottom. He ends up being at the bottom. So, I mean, is it really worth it to go fight potentially just one guy, or one guy with three other teammates that have Ghost? I don't think it is. If we have to go like track him down like this, we just choose to get back in the chopper and just head out. Allied UAV overhead. And if you notice here, I do get a completely separate angle from other teammates. Just notice how we have this team cornered. Literally nothing they can do right here. I ping one, I light one up, and I ping them. Yellow ping somebody on the ground, uh, right here. And then I'm getting the, the final kill. Like I said, when you're picking apart a defense like this, what can they do? There's nothing that they can do. Gunfights don't last more than 10 seconds. Granted, having a helicopter and vehicles Deep makes it a lot easier, but if you don't have a vehicle, it is still possible. I'll explain a little bit more later in the game. Right here we get an advance and I'm telling uh yellow that we have a team here so let's try to make this quick just because storm is pushing in. UAV 
Um, and we have high ground, so it's not really much to worry about as long as you're you're playing your cover. But yeah, they all target yellow. Once I notice that they're targeting him, that's when I push in from a different angle or a different look and just get the, the easy knocks. But right here is where things start to take a turn for the worse. This is when we break our coordination. Right here, I get shot out almost. And I jump out, I'm telling like I'm getting shot, I gotta jump. Um, but then yellow ends up pushing this whole team by himself. And now remember when I said that positioning can either help your team win or destroy your team. It's right here. Notice where green is at and notice where yellow is at. Green can't really help just because they're probably eyeing him and putting shots down on him. And I think yellow jumps out on top of their building. You notice where I'm at? I'm super far. I don't have eyes. Like, I can't do anything from back here. And then neither can green. Green got clustered. Yeah, they're just all targeting him. The yellow is solo on enemy team. What we should have did was just land where green was at and took the fight from there. All three of us took the fight from there, but... Yellow pushed in, and that fire. caused us to push in as well. So we just did our best from this position right here. Like no way we're coming from behind this cover to help him out. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be a good play to to, to do. So we sit back here and try to help him out as much as possible. Um, just because, like I said, Storm is coming in, and that team has to push towards us. playing for kills all game when it's top 20 like this i usually slow it down and play for a win which is why i sit back here and just try to eye out anybody rotating in or out of uh zone green ends up getting a knock and eventually a full kill and then he pushes in all the way into the building when there was already people inside the building like i said when it's like this i play slow and try to play for a win pushing into that team wasn't really a good idea at least i didn't think so so I try to help him out as much as possible, but once he gets knocked, that's when I just fall back in. That's when I fall back and just stick to my plan. Last chance. Kill or be killed. Gas is moving.
And now remember what I said about positioning is easier with like vehicles. Notice my positioning without a vehicle. Just watch how I do this here. So I get a knock here. And I rotate completely off to the left. Like it wouldn't make sense for me to bull rush that one guy that I just knocked because I know that there's more than one person in there. So I let them get the res on purpose. I'm giving them a different look just to see if I can get another easy knock. Less than 10 enemies remain. Now right here, I make the mistake of not being able to get the kill. Like I shot before I can get the kill. I just stun right there just to get a little bit closer. And then right here, I'm just listening. Just listening and looking. See if I can get another easy knock. Eventually I do. I peek through this window and get a knock. Gas is moving in. You stay in the floor. I come up with the idea of getting on top of the building and giving them just a completely different look that they won't be expecting. Instead of just completely rushing in. Right here, storm's coming in, so it's gonna flush everybody out. As you see right here, they start to rotate early and there's the easy picks coming out. Whatever you can use to your advantage, just use it. Right here, I use high ground for my advantage, and I use the zone for my advantage. And also, whenever I get a knock, I use that as an advantage as well. It buys me time to either push up or get another easy knock. Even though I was outgunned by one to three. I mean, at this point in the game, I'm focusing on how many people are left and how many teams are left. And just trying to spot out where these guys are at. Right here, I see one rotating in. Happens to be a solo. And now I notice that there's three squads left. Four other players. Right here, they just killed the last guy and now it's 1v3. I try to push up just to get some easy knocks as they're rotating in. And I get completely cheated right here. I should at least knock one of those guys, if not both. And that was kind of the downfall here. So like right here, it's so hard to see, and it's three of them, so they have position on me. They're all completely spread out. So I try to fall back and go left for that buy station, but then the, the third guy comes out of nowhere and gets me. If I would have got to that left side, I probably would have did a lot better by like getting a knock and then getting the other two guys that rotate in, but that's how it works out.